Thank you. I cannot wait for this fight. What an opportunity for Craig Richards, the British light heavyweight champion, to fight for the World Light Heavyweight Championship. The WBA champion, Dimitri Bivol, one of the top world champions in the sport of boxing. Welcome to his team, Vadim Kornlov, and, and world of boxing as well, Andre Rybinski. And welcome up to Craig Richards, the challenger, and Peter Sims as well. This is a fascinating fight. Of course, Dimitri Bivol for a long time has looked like, as I said, one of the elite world champions in the game. The rise of Craig Richards is quite amazing. I remember the draw against Chad, Sud Chad Sugden, and then you get the fight against Shaqan Pitters. I'm watching that fight going, I don't know. He goes out, he absolutely destroys Shaqan Pitters. Ever since then, looking sensational in the gym. The more I speak to Craig, the more I see Craig, the more I see Peter Sims. You look at this and say, could this be one of the big... British victories for a world championship. Since 2013, Britain has been without a world champion in the light heavyweight division, and this man has a huge task. I'm going to start with a challenger and his team. Peter, first of all, I remember the conversation so clearly. He beat Shaq and Pitt as you came in, and I was talking about who we're going to defend the British title against. You said, we want to roll the dice. We want a big fight. I said, well, I worked with Dimitri Bivo. He went, he's perfect. We've watched him. We believe we can beat him. And I don't mind saying, I looked at you and I said, yeah, and if Craig loses, he can go back and he can defend his British. You said, he ain't losing. He ain't losing this fight. You've beaten the drum for Craig Richards. And there's a lot of people walking about this bubble that are starting to become believers as well. You really believe your man can, can become world champion on Saturday? Yeah, I really do, Ed. And, uh, I remember that conversation like it was yesterday. And I think your, the first words out of your mouth was, core blimey, mate. <laughs> And you sort of looked at me like I was joking, and then you, uh, then you realised that I was serious. You know, we had a conversation before the Shaq and Peters fight, and I said to Craig, you know, it's not about uh, if you win this fight, it's how you win this fight will define whether you're going to step up or not, you know, or whether you're gonna, you need to start at the British level or the domestic scene for a little while. And that, as you just spoke about, you know, the way that he dismantled Shaq and Peters, for me, was a sign for him to step up. You know, he's in the, he's in the, he's, I think he's fifth in the WBO rankings. He's third or fourth in the British rankings. I believe he's the best British light heavyweight at the moment, you know. And it's like we spoke about before, you know, with um, Callum Johnson when he challenged Berbatev and Anthony Yard when he went out and challenged Kovalev, you know. And it's about time, really, that, Brit that Britain have another light heavyweight champion. You know, I was spoken to a good friend of mine earlier, John Conti, who's going to speak to uh, Quake uh, later on today, you know. And he said, this can be done, you know. Boxing's made of upsets. You know, if we go back to the um, Deloitte, Dunning and Donald Curry, and we go back to the Nigel, Ben, Gerald McClellan, and recently, you know, Andy Ruiz Jr. and Harry Upset, Anthony Joshua, can Spider upset the boat with and beat Dimitri Bivol? I think he can. I think when you, when you break it down, you know, you know this guy's a class fighter, but when you start to become a believer, you start saying, well, he hasn't boxed since October 2019. You know, he's over here in, in I know we're outside of London, but in Craig's home country. You know, there's a lot going for Craig Richards in this fight. We know Dimitri is a fantastic fighter as well, but you've seen in the gym, we know he's been looking sensational in, in sparring, punching really, really hard in this fight. Got to be sharp from, from the get-go, though. Dimitri's got fantastic feet, fantastic speed as well. Got to be switched on from the first bell. Yeah, you know, you can't deny that Dimitri Bivol is a class fighter. You know, he had an absolute, you know, he's amateur pedigree. He's, you know, he's absolutely spot on, you know, and we, we're going this fight with total 100 respect for, for Dimitri Bivol. You know, he's a WBA super lightweight world champion, you know, for a reason. You know, his speed's good, he's got great feet, you know, he's got, he's got all the package. But we believe with the assets that he's got, uh, uh, Spider, and what he's developed and how he's progressed in the gym, that he can do the job and he can, up, and he can upset the boat. Craig, big massive opportunity for you as well. I see a guy who's not really here in awe of the situation, not here to make up the numbers. You really believe that you can become... Britain's next, uh, next world heavyweight champion, light heavyweight world champion. Yeah, 100%, Eddie. I believe that, of course, I can become the next champion. As you said, I come off a good win for the British title. It's not like I was in a dark place in my career and it's like, oh, this is the only opportunity. I've got momentum in my career and I've only took this fight because I believe I can win and I want more momentum. As you said, um, people talk about me stepping up from the British and moving on. My career's been a bit backwards, although it looks like I've just won the British and moved on. I've been beating unbeaten guys from early in my career. I've beat guys 12 and 0, 10 and 0, 12 and 1, 14 and 0. So I could have, if you look at the, all the other Brits who pushed on they've had one big domestic duff up and then they've moved on to the world scene I've had loads so I've had loads of experience when's the time to move on like I can't keep fighting domestically I've had like five good domestic wins it's time to push on I've got enough experience I've got to push on I believe the times now a year ago two years ago if you asked me if this is the time I'd have said no I wasn't ready now I'm ready to go 
you watch this guy, of course, you, you study this guy, class fighter, yeah. has been inactive, but, but yeah. a tremendous champion as well. And you know, this would go down as a massive, massive win for British boxing. 100%. Um, I think he's uh, one of the greatest fighters in light heavyweight um, division. This is why he's perfect for the job, because I believe, um, as you say, people mention the other light heavyweights. Um, sometimes I wasn't getting mentioned, and I believe like I was getting overlooked. I beat great fighters, and after I've beaten them, people saying, oh, he's not all that, he's not all that. But granted, it's been at domestic level, and I believe that beating someone like Dimitri Bivol is a great WBA super champion, and a lot of respect to him. He's one of the best out there. I'll fully get the credit I deserve. Absolutely. Vadim, welcome. Great to see you back. Been a frustrating period for Dimitri Bivol. Um, looking for fights, looking for opportunities. I want to hear from you first as well. Everyone talks about, you know, the better be of undisputed fight, etc. But a real test for you on Saturday night in Dimitri's first fight in the UK. Thank you, Eddie. Um, definitely, um, it's been kind of frustrating for everybody, you know, with the, with the COVID and everything going on. Um, you know, there are a couple of opportunities, but I'm actually really excited for Dimitri to kind of have his first debut here in, uh, in the United Kingdom because the fans here are great and you know we've had a, a lot of success with Povetkin and getting a lot of attention and I really think that um, you know once Dmitry gets uh, the fans to see see the way he fights and the, the way he boxes you know uh, unluckily it's not a, a fan fan uh, visited fight but uh, still you know fighting here is exciting and I believe that um, this is important you know this is important for him and his career and I can see all the ambition on the other side and I can see that uh, you know um, real, you know, a real good team and professional team, and that will make the fight even more exciting because both guys are coming to win, and both guys, you know, have a lot of confidence. So I appreciate the opportunity as well, and you know, you, you helping make this happen is very important, you know, for both guys. And uh, we feel, we feel very excited and look forward to this Saturday. Dimitri, it's been a long time. Um, oh. Now all of a sudden, you are king. These young fighters want to take this opportunity. They have what you want. You expect a good fight on Saturday? Uh, of course. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, thank you to you, to Craig Richards and his team uh, to take this fight. And uh, and uh, I'm missing for fighting. And uh, I'm, I'm really uh, looking for to go in the ring and uh, make a great fight for all of boxing fans. And... Uh, you know, I, I have a dream uh, to be an undisputed champion, but uh, I have uh, some goals uh, to fight, uh, uh, to make a fight in St. Petersburg, to fight in uh, America, and uh, to fight in England. And now my goal is uh, uh, realizing. Obviously, there is talk about the undisputed fights, but first things first, tough fight on Saturday night against yeah. Craig Richards. Yeah, and you've course. been out of the ring for a long time. You know, people look at that. Is that a weakness? And... You know, this is a, a big moment for British boxing. A lot of people <clears> behind this would be, a, would be a, a huge moment for British sport if he could dethrone you on Saturday night. So you have to be ready. Um, I just believe in my skills. Uh, I just uh, believe I can uh, beat him and uh, move uh, forward again. But of course, I think about on the May 1st, my life, uh, I'm living uh, until May 1st. And then we will see what will happen. But uh, I believe I train on all my life. I, I'm in boxing since I remember myself. And of course, I, I have to be winner. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Dimitri. Thank you, Craig Richards. A tremendous fight for the WBA World Light Heavyweight Championship. Dimitri Bivo, one of the best champions in the sport, against Craig Richards, the British light heavyweight champion, looking to make history at the AO Arena in Manchester on Saturday. Gentlemen, if we could have a head-to-head -head here, please.